Our fave women wore the most divine outfits at Met Gala, but where are you at, men? Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Kim Kardashian, Janelle Monet, Cardi B, Solange, and Katy Perry all did the most at this year's Met Gala. Yep, fashion's biggest night went down on the steps where Gossip Girl eat yogurt on Monday night, with the stars boldly embracing the heavenly bodies theme. If Rihanna is gonna turn up in a jaw-dropping, diamond-encrusted Pope outfit, it's probably time to stop treating Treating this like a basic black tie event. I'm looking at you, Shawn Mendes, Cole Sprouse, Ansel Elgort, Jonah Hill, Alexander Skarsgård. I mean, you all look fine, but seriously, this is the Met Gala. And the guys are just like, keys, wallet, phone, ready. But before you get all bro in the comments, shout out to the fancy looking dudes that did step it up this year. Jared Leto ditched his Snapchat flower crown for a real life Burger King crown. Chadwick Boseman served up King T'Challa vibes in an all white Versace. Migos pimped up stunning sequin suit jackets with all the bling. And Troy Sivan gave us red devil realness wearing a Maison Valentino tux over a sheer red top. The pot feud between Taylor Swift and Katy Perry may be over. Taylor took to Insta to share a gift she'd been sent along with a really heartfelt note from actual Katy Perry. Yet, KP went down the literal route by sending her former enemy an actual olive branch along with a handwritten note which reads something along the lines of Hey old friend, I've been doing some reflecting on past miscommunications and hurt feelings between us. Adding that she is deeply sorry and that she wanted to clear the air. Taylor captioned the pic with thank you Katy. Oh. How sweet. This comes after Katie said in an interview that she wanted to clear the air over a year ago. The stars first fell out back in 2009 after the Shake It Off singer accused Katie of stealing one of her backup dancers for her tour. Since then, we've had public spats and song battles. Who can forget the epic bad blood? As the pop queens went head to head in one of music's longest feuds. Oh, and let's not forget they both have the same taste in men, as John Mayer has once upon a time been linked to both singers. But all is well now, as a pair practically are besties. Kanye West's latest business venture has not gone quite as planned. He launched his brand new activewear at an event in Sydney recently, but it was shut down in just 45 minutes because nobody showed up. Wow, okay, that's embarrassing. I wonder why that's happened. Staff were left stunned as queues were expected around the block, but when they opened the front door, nobody was there waiting for Kanye's $300 bike shorts. Oh, I think I found out why. It was the Met Gala recently, a night where a bunch of really important people all dress up and pretend to be enjoying themselves. Think your dad's annual Halloween bash, but make it fashion. This year the theme was heavenly bodies and the Catholic imagination. There were angels, devils, and Rihanna dressed up as an actual pope because she is a religion unto herself. Worship her. Now, you'd think this one would be Selena Gomez's night. She's heavenly, has a body, was raised Catholic, and has enough imagination to think that getting back with Justin Bieber was a good idea. Jokes, Justin. Love ya. However, people thought that she might have gone just a touch too strong on the bronzer. Just a smidge. One Twitter user said, it's a hell no. Selena needs to fire her stylist, her tan specialist and coach. It's just a no all round. There are a few inevitable Ross from Friends references and one very disgruntled onlooker said, Selena Gomez dares to show up to the Met Gala in a granny snipe gown from 1930, streaky fake tan and concealer on her lips and expects me not to make fun of her. I mean, just a couple of things. Firstly, look, it's very easy and maybe quite fun to laugh at everyone's appearance when the only thing watching you is your photo booth camera and Facebook and the FBI, probably. But I can personally vouch for the fact that cameras and lights really f up your makeup look. Finally, Selena doesn't need us to laugh at her because she can laugh at herself. The singer posted an Instagram yesterday of her running through a car park with the caption, me when I saw my pictures from the Met. See also, me when I watched my Insta stories from the night before. Now, one person who didn't have to worry about causing any controversy at the Met Gala was Taylor Swift, because she was busy dealing with her own during the first leg of her reputation tour. On opening night, she said, A couple of years ago, someone called me a snake on social media, and it caught on. The someone she's probably referring to is Kim Kardashian, who started the trend of everyone spamming Taylor's comments with snake emojis. Even Taylor got on board with the theme. Her stage design features a mechanical snake that's almost as big as Kanye's ego. As Taylor continued, I wanted to send a message to you guys that if someone uses name calling to bully you on social media, and even if a lot of people jump on board with it, it doesn't have to beat you. It can strengthen you instead. Okay, bye.